Let's take a live look from our exclusive sales force tower camera, taking a look at the Warriors new home in San Francisco in Mission Bay, the brand new Chase Center and ticket sales for the uh, first preseason game go on sale today. KPI X5's Jackie Ward has been inside Chase Center all morning long, telling us how to properly say it. Don't use the word the when you're saying Chase Center, right, Jackie? <laughs> That is right. I have the head of communications for the Warriors looking at me right now. If I say the Chase Center, she'll come over and smack me. It's just Chase Center. But I also have Rick Welty as the president and COO of the Golden State Warriors with me this morning. You just moved in yourself. These new digs are pretty sweet. It's pretty great. We uh, we had 300 people move into our business offices here. We got our basketball team moving in in another week. So, yeah, it's starting to feel like home. Obviously, this took years to get to this point. Is there some kind of relief for you? at this point? Uh, I think there's a combination of incredible stress to get ready to cut the ribbon next week and also incredible anticipation for what this is going to mean for the Warriors franchise going forward, but really for the Bay Area and sports and entertainment. It's, it's a game changer. It's like a generational change in how we present sports and entertainment. For San Francisco to have this kind of arena again with more than 18,000 seats, why is that so important for the city to have? Well, never in our history uh, have we had a world-class sports entertainment arena. It's kind of crazy. There's no city half San Francisco size in the country that doesn't have one of these. Uh, the great artists of our time have never been able to play San Francisco. And, you know, our goal, others will judge whether we accomplish it, but our goal is that there's no artist in the world out there who considers the resume complete until they've played Chase Center in San Francisco. Obviously, you've accommodated a lot for the corporate business people, but a lot of the people from the East Bay want to make sure that they can get in here and watch a game. Is there any way you can accommodate those fans? Absolutely. Uh, we're thrilled that 70% of our season ticket holders uh, who were with us at Oracle Arena last year have purchased season tickets this year. So the majority of the crowd is going to be the people that were in Oracle Arena. And if you look around, there's spaces uh, and clubs for every single uh, seat in, in Chase Center. So it doesn't matter what you pay for your ticket, your experience is going to be a cut above what, what you're used to having. We had the nickname Roracle. Any fun nicknames oh, you guys are thinking wow, of for Chase Center? Okay, Put on the that's spot a here. challenge. Yeah. Okay, those things are better when they happen organically, exactly. you know? So okay. we'll, uh, we'll have our ears open and mm -hmm. come up with the uh, equivalent of Oracle. We'll have to figure that out. Thank you so much, Rick. Really <laughs> appreciate you. your time. Yeah, preseason tickets go on sale today at 9 this morning for season ticket holders and then at 4 for the general public.